Unboxing the Motorola Edge 40 Neo is like unwrapping a tech treasure, especially because of the kicker. It's the only phone at this price to have an actual IP68 certified rating, which alone adds an extra layer of intrigue to the mix. The wrap practically begs to be torn away, revealing the sleek design within. Immediately you notice the feather light weight at just 172 grams. No unnecessary plastic screen protector interferes with the stunning display. The back texture of the H40 Neo is nothing short of awesome. It's the non-slip grip you have been dreaming of and miraculously is the opposite of a fingerprint magnet. Hello, Moto. A contender for the best design of the year. It feels impressively sturdy in my usual trial bend. The case inside the box is semi-hard and boasts a fantastic texture. Let's dive into the scratch test. The steel box cutter is on the 32 megapixel front selfie camera at f2.4, followed by the dual main cameras, the 50 megapixel f1.8 wide angle and the 13 megapixel ultra wide at f2.2. In the past, we have had massive scratch fails on many BBK Technologies devices due to extreme poor quality glass protection, mostly on the budget to mid-budget devices. The sharp blade does its dance, but the Motorola H40 Neo stands strong. Why you ask? It's all thanks to the high quality Corning Glass 3 production. Now, drop testing this beautifully textured design. First, a pocket height low drop on the rear camera side. Then a second low drop on the POLED display. Absolutely no issues, dense or shatters, with both low drops. Things get serious with the high drops. The bottom side takes the first hit with the provided case. A slight case damage with a clear protrusion but nothing major. The top edge follows with a second high drop. This time the top survives unlike the previous slight damage. Now the dadding drops. The third high drop on the camera side, naked without protection. And finally, the fourth high drop you have been waiting for on the P-OLED display side. The question lingers, will it survive? Miraculously, it does. Emerging undamaged, a big relief for the weaker OLED display.
And now for the fun stuff with value, the Ben test, the test to assess the structural strength of this lightweight marvel. The first bend on the display side shows minimal flex. The second bend from the back results in a subtle curve on the body which stays bent as you can see. No issues in the third bend from the display side. The Motorola Edge 40 Neo passes the bend test with flying colors even with a slight curve from the second bend. In conclusion, the Motorola Edge 40 Neo impresses with its lightweight, robust design and impressive durability features. This one's a winner in the mid-range segment.